What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this one not nearly as uh, enlightening as our previous videos, but uh, I think this is an important conversation to talk about. Over the weekend, The Daily Beast wrote an article about Cinestate, a small independent movie production company out of Texas, and exposed them for several different sexual misconduct situations. And it has brought a lot of attention to the horror community since Cinestate owns the publications of Birth, Movies, Death, and Fangoria. And both Birth, Movies, Death, and Fangoria made a statement making several demands in order for Cinestate to continue working with them. Some of these demands include formulate and publicly release an action plan to precisely deal with preventing harassment, implement mandatory sexual harassment training for all of its employees and on-set contractors, make a substantial donation to an anti-sexual misconduct organization like the Dallas Area Rape Crisis Center or RAIN, and separate editorial from Fangoria, as Cinestate has no editorial control of Birth Movies Death. This letter from Birth Movies Death and Fangoria says that they will no longer be working with Cinestate if they can't follow these demands, and there's actually a good chance that they end up separating indefinitely. We recognize that any sort of success or even existence under the umbrella of Cinestate may well be an impossibility now. We absolutely understand and appreciate why fans, brand partners, and studios are withdrawing their support. We truly don't know if the situation can be fixed at this point, but this is our last ditch attempt, and we do believe that it's worth it to try. And in this situation, I absolutely can't blame Birth Movies, Death, and Fangoria for trying to do something to resolve the situation, uh, but looking as an outside of looking in, it doesn't seem like it's all that resolvable. And it seems a lot of people are seeing it that way as well, as a handful of podcasts from the Fangoria Podcast Network have actually pulled out from there, and it seems to be a snowball effect currently happening as more and more will keep pulling out from Fangoria. Uh, the biggest concern for horror fans when it comes to the situation with Fangoria is that ultimately it could lead to the end of Fangoria, which would be a shame, as they just had an insane comeback after many years and was able to get up off the ground again so it's a shame that Cinestate, being the parent to Fangoria, has such ongoing sexual misconduct situations. But of course, it being exposed in this manner, and it's being talked about more, and hopefully being resolved internally over there at Cinestate, it's, that's good news, at, at the very least, that it's being addressed and it's being exposed. Because if it's not exposed, and it's not being dealt with, those problems will never go away. So at the very least, I'm very happy about that. Uh, and hopefully we see some true action being taken by Sin State, and of course legally as well, for those that are guilty in this situation. Um, as for Fangoria, you know, I'm wishing them the best, and uh, in Birth Movies Death as well, wishing them the best, hoping they can pull out from the situation and not be held down by a parent studio. But we'll see what happens. Uh, let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below, and we'll keep you up to date on the path that Fangoria takes here in the future. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.